Hey everyone, just before the video starts, it is Movember and I am raising money, I am raising awareness and I'm going to be growing the absolute worst, the most atrocious moustache you've ever seen. You can see my little avatar has already got one on. So this is just a quick message to ask if you can donate, if you can afford to donate just a little bit, even if it's just a little bit, that would be greatly appreciated. Follow the link in the description or in the channel home about page. Go on to the, uh, the most space is what it's called. Click your donation, leave a little message. And if you do want to donate, leave in that little message a gaming related challenge for me to undertake. I will do my absolute best to get it done. We're just raising a little bit of money. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Good evening and welcome back to Cricket Captain 2024. We're back with the New South Wales save. And today we are playing the last, the last game in the One Day Cup. Well, hopefully not the last game in the one day cup for the season because we've got a game against victoria and if we win it then we very much have the best chance we are in the driver's seat right now to uh, to get through to the final and it would be real good if we could get through it would be so so good one change to the team is going to see harry brook drop out for sam constas maybe or do we go for cooper hooper i think we go for cooper hooper i think we've got it his form is looking real good real scary um, I think Hayden Kerr comes in as well. The conditions, oh yes, we don't need the extra spinners here today. Davies dropped, Kerr goes in. Um, Saltzman's there. I think Dorsius goes in. Well, just because another batting option potentially with that average is pretty dang good. Uh, the, the not outs are pretty useful. Edwards, not really doing too much, Edwards. So maybe we go to Abbott. Abbott's, I uh, don't know. Um, you know what? I'm going to bank on one of my stars. I'm going to bring Stark back in. Um, so, Kurz, Dorsius and Stark will open the bowling. We've got two spinners. Let's see what we can do. We're going to call Tails and... We're going to have a bowl. We are going to have a bowl. Look at that, they've got Ray and Ahmed in their team. Wow, for the One Day Cup as well. That's interesting. Okay. So, we're really going to have to try and do our best to keep Victoria from scoring a big total here. Stark is going to start things up. That's an okay start. I don't mind that. Dorsius on the other end. See what you can do. There's no one there. You've got to stop that. Again, there's no one there. Stop that. That's a good over, though, however. That's a really, really good over. Let's see if we... Well, the aim is, I would say... Oh, 424, lovely. Um, the aim is, I would say, to try and always keep the opposition down below a runner ball. If you can do that, it's it's tough. But if you can do that, then you've, you've done well, I would say. Um, I, but I don't know... Oh, there's the first boundary. Okay, but that's okay. They're only going at fours. It's still the power play. So this is when they should actually be going a little bit more aggressive. And they're not right now. Here we go. Stark to Bukowski. First. Oh, no. Okay, are they going to run two? No two. Okay, that's fine. I like that Victoria kit, though. The, the kind of dark kit looks real nice. Um, Eight overs gone. And that is the power play done. Brilliantly done from the opening bowlers. Look at that. They've gone for five overs, 19 runs each. Very, very good. That means the run rate is only at 3.8, which is just very good. Very awesome. And now we are going to go and swap it up. We're going to add some spin to the, uh, to the game. Back you go. And in fact, yeah, nope, sorry. You go back and you come up. You go in as well. I'm going to try and stop some of those singles, but leave the gap in behind. Move in as well. Okay. The offside. You in. Nothing's gone through there, so you're going to tuck in. Out you go. That's not... Yeah, that's not the worst. Okay, let's see what Nathan Lyon can do. Five off the first. Not bad at all. I'll take it. 
I will take it. Okay, now Chris Green, the absolute star of the show in the last game. If you missed that game, we won another Sheffield Shield game. Um, by an innings, would you believe it? By an innings, we absolutely dominated and controlled the game. Hopefully we can do something similar here today. Only four from it. That's lovely. That's really, really good. I'm, 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 I'm loving life. I'm loving that. Four from it again. That's okay. And two from the next one. So, Nathan Lyon, you're actually the more expensive spinner. Would you believe it? Nathan Lyon. Top quality bowler. Okay, well, he does reply with the first maiden of the game. So, <laughs> lovely stuff from Nathan Lyon. Lovely, lovely stuff. They are 53 without loss. Like, they are building. No, until then, I was about to say, they are building a nice foundation. And uh, looks like Mathy preferring the spin. I might want to... Might want to bring Hayden Kerr in here, actually. I'm going to do it. Hayden Kerr comes in. We go to the offside field, move those back, bring in Gully Point in there instead. And see what lovely start from Hayden Kerr. That's awesome bowling. That is awesome bowling. Um, I want to keep one spinner on, and it's going to be Chris Green. Nathan Lyon can come back later. That's no dramas. And Matthew is gone, so it was actually the spin that got it, which is lovely stuff. Let's now. Go to the leg side, tuck them up a little bit. You in just a tad and then rotate round just like that. Oh, well, first ball went for six. I didn't mean to, didn't mean to do that, but never mind. It is what it is. Let's see what Hayden Kerr can do. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Green is going for a few more runs, so I think maybe we'll swap that out now. Because uh, we don't want to give them... Okay, so... Back to Nathan Lyon. You back, move you in. And just exactly like that, try and take a little bit of control back. And um, I would like Hayden Kerr to also show a little bit more control. And he has done just that. Get these run rates way, way, way down below a runnable. That's what we want to do. That's what we would like. Okay, good stuff. Here we go. Lion to Hanscom. Can we get the third wicket that we're after? Oh, okay. Stepped across it. They might run a two. No, they won't. Just a single. And only two from the overs. Lovely stuff from Nathan Lyon. He's going at threes right now. Head and Co. goes at six off that one. But that's not the worst. See what he can do with the next over. Really nice. Okay, so Nathan Lyon again. I'm going to swap back to Chris Green. I want to kind of use up Chris Green's overs here. Um, and then have, have Nathan Lyon's overs in the bank. And then bring the paces back on later. That over's only gone for six. That's perfectly fine. Um, Aiden Kerr. Yeah, I think I've got to swap it out. We'll go to Dorcius. Back, tuck you in like that. That's not bad. Yep, the singles are fine. And then the leg side over here is that's fine as well. And Dorcius starts all oh, almost with a maiden. Not quite, but really, really good stuff. Now, Chris Green, no ball does not help. But like I say, I want to get through his overs. And that's another wicket. I mean, he's the only one taking wickets. So while I'm saying, oh, yeah, you want to get through his overs and yada, yada, he's the only one getting wickets right now. So. It, it, he's going pretty well. <laughs> um, I would be a little bit kind of silly to be criticising. I'm not criticising. He's just going for a few more runs. But he's getting... Until Ben Dorcius joins in, he was the one getting wickets. Okay. Okay, green. Oh, they both prefer spin now. Yep, not going to risk it. Not going to risk it. Let's go back to Hayden Kerr and try and wrap this up. We'll try and at least keep the run rate low as it's been. They're, they've got 19 overs to go. And they do have a good amount of wickets in hand. You know, you can still say that. But I just don't want to... Uh, I don't want to gift them runs. I want them to work for the runs. If they're going to work for it, yeah, fine. Okay, Hayden Kerr goes for a few more. Okay. Swap Kerr out. We're going to get Mitchell Stark back in. Okay. 
And again, it does seem to be working. The rotation of the bowlers means that they can't get the ball away um, to the fence nearly as often as they might be hoping. And here's Stock to Harris in the air. Straight to the fielder. Hughesy takes the catch and that brings in Ray and Ahmed. Okay, now Dorsch's is wrapped up at 3.8. That's incredible. That's incredible. But again, they both prefer spin. I'm actually going to bowl a bit of spin at them, knowing that this could backfire. Because um, I don't want to just use up all my paces and then only be left with spin at the end. That would not be advantageous. So, while there is a chance, it goes. Only for nine. That's not too bad. Maxwell's gone. That's incredible. There we go. That's what I needed. That is honestly what I needed. Um... Now Nathan Lyon can attack this bowler. Uh, sorry, this uh, uh, Merlo. They're climbing up to 4.8 here. Stark can hold off. We'll go back to green. With the defensive field, lovely stuff from green. That is what we're after. I want to try and keep them below 250 if we can. It, it, I think it's going to be tough because they're just going to be swinging because of course they are, you know, they, of course they are, but no edge. But Merlo is now just swinging and creating chances. It's not out. And again, it's a chance. There's four chances in a row. Lion is uh, bowling a really good line here. That's not out. And will it be five in a row? It will. My goodness, Nathan Lyon can't buy a wicket. And he drops that one. They're going to run two? Is that the question? There's no two there. It's going to be a wicket, but it's going to be a run out, so it won't go down to Nathan Lyon. However, he's bowling incredibly well. You, you can't really argue with that. He's bowling really well. Okay, now, oh, is that Todd Murphy? It is Todd Murphy, our Sydney Sixers man. It's a good over. And Nathan Lyon to wrap things up. His last over, and then it's just pace at the end. Do we just go pace now and try and get the wickets? I think we just go pace now, um, try and get the wickets, and don't worry about bowling the overs, just get the wickets. Um, so Mitchell Stark comes back. There we go. They're only going at 4.9s here, so that is very close to getting to uh, 250. Murphy is gone. Exactly what I was talking about. Tremaine. Played for us for many, many seasons. Well, I say that many, many, many seasons. Played for us um, for a good amount of time. We got, Can we do like four team? New South Wales. 37. Yay. Played a lot of games for us. Good, good uh, bowling average as well. 21 is not bad at all. Okay. Bowling leg side at him though. Um, it is, it is a, it's a little bit something to be playing against the player who played for us, of course. Um, we're looking for two more wickets and we're still trying to keep them under the 250 mark. No balls and boundaries does not help from Hayden Kerr. The only thing that he does kind of let you down with sometimes. Um, loses, loses his line or kind of loses a bit of control. It's not ideal. So that is, yeah, there's the 250 up for Victoria. But I'm, I, I definitely think we can chase that. There's, that's not, I'm not like freaking out about it. But that was a bad over. That's in the air. Going to be one bounce to the, to the fielder. Wide ball. And Nathan Lyon will bowl the last. And we've actually done really, really, really well this time to, uh, to make sure that all my bowlers are getting the right number of overs. I've actually done really well this time. I don't usually. That's going to be another just one bounce. Well, that's gone high. One bounce stay saved. Yep, one bounce saved. Uh, six and then Ray and Ahmed off the last. What will he do? They might try and run a two again. I think they might make it this time. I'm not sure. 
Looks like they will indeed. Okay, so 269. Um, we are chasing 270 at 5.4. How are the other games going? Tasmania have done quite well. South Australia, that might mess with the... They've done well as well. That might mess with the net run rates here. I don't, I don't really, I'm being honest, I don't really see it happening where we do manage to take bonus points, but we're going to have to hope that just winning the game is enough. If our batsman gets set, I will definitely, I will give it a go and I will try and wrap the game up as quickly as possible. Um, but first things first, win the game. So we're going to do what we did last time where we basically try and survive the first 10 overs. Don't lose any wickets if we, if possible. And don't worry about the run rates just yet because winning the game is number one. You know, winning the game is the first issue and worrying about the other stuff later. Well, is exactly that. So that is that done. Okay, we're going to start upping the rate a bit. Because there is a chance, if we absolutely smack these runs out of the park, um, that we will get the bonus points that we need. Okay, Hackney is gone. Maddinson comes in, starts on two yellows. That's okay. Two yellows is okay. And Husey is going well. Lovely. He's on 16. And we're well ahead of the Duckworth Lewis here. We need to... If they went at 5.5, .5, we would need to go at 7. So we would need to chase 260 in at a run rate of 7, which is 40 overs, let's say. We've got to try and chase this down in 40 overs if we want the bonus point. I don't think we will get the second bonus point of 2 doubling up that would be kind of crazy i'll be honest i don't think that's on the cards but let's get to 15 overs now and evaluate again reevaluate that's a good shot from Husey. lovely yep four runs um we are going at going at fives so we are basically going at the right run rate right now Get to 20 overs. We want to be on about... I'm going to say I want to be on about 120, but that, that's probably a bit much. We reverse sweeping for four, though. Not the worst. Tell Husey to... Oh, Ren Ahmed. Might have been the wrong decision. No. Okay, four runs. Try and get to 120, because that means we're going at sixes, which is a runner ball, of course, which means the required run rate is just going to come down. And the more it comes down with the more wickets we have in hand, the more I can tell the batsman to just go and go and go. So that's the 100 up already. Let's get to 120. It means we're ticking at a runner ball easily as we start. With only one wicket down, of course. We would need a good over here to, to do that. But uh, no, there's a chance. Four runs. 1-1-9. One, one, okay, so one run away from a runner ball here. Tell Maddinson to increase. I'm going to wait for Hughes to get to 75 before I tell him to increase as well. He's on 47 right now. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scratch that. I'm going to make that 60 rather than 75. Lovely shot. There's the 50 up. Okay. Uh, Maddinson is looking pretty good. If he gets the 50, I'll increase him his ingression. Okay, never mind. He's gone. Hooper Hooper comes in. 
and Hughesy goes big. That's 57. So when he gets the 60, like I said, he's going to go to one orange. And we are going to try and get a bonus point. Like we're going to at least try um, and try and kind of bank us getting a win. Well, getting into that final, basically. I want to get to that final. It'd be so good if we could. It'd be awesome. Hughesy is going well. He's okay. One orange for Hughesy. Cooper Hooper's already going at a good strike rate. 4.5 needed. Um, it's going very well. It's going very well. Oh, that's an edge. That's gone big. That's big. Eight from it. You know what? We've got the wickets in hand, so I'm just going to tell them to go now. I'm going to tell them to go now. Scratch the plans. Scratch worrying about it. Let's go. Let's get these runs in quick time and let's absolutely win this game. Smash this game. 4.3 is the required rate. Let's go, Husey. Husey and Hooper. Let's go. Seven off that over. Of course, the required run rate now is only like four. Like a boundary and over is enough. And if it's a six, it's, it's more than enough. So, oh, Husey's gone for 84. But that's all right. Lock and load tool comes in. Three yellows. Um, after your you faced, let's say, 12. Hooper's gone. Okay, Philippi comes in. Still, it's not that many runs needed. Six wickets in hand. Tool is gone. Hayden Kerr comes in. Still 70 runs needed. But only at four and over. I'm actually getting a little bit worried now that we do need to, we can't, we can't mess this up by going too big. Mm. Three needed at 3.7 and over. So a boundary and over is more than enough. There we go. Hayden Kerr, lovely stuff. Great, 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 great. Okay, um, we've got five wickets in hand. I'm going to tell them to go. I'm going to tell them to go back to three, or, uh, three yellows. Um, on a free hit here, make him count, make it count. He does, four runs. And again, 36 runs needed, 10 overs to do it. And let's do it in three. Let's do it in three. I mean, it's not going to happen, but that's what I, that's the mindset I want to have. Let's just do it in three. Wrap this game up. It's going to be, I mean, it's still quite commendable that we're going to get this win um, against the top of the table team. And it's not really close. It's not really been close. 19 to win now. Like, I mean, well, maybe we could do it in three, like I was saying. But, oh, and Kerr is gone. But that's a great contribution in pretty good time. Hey, okay, Philippi, wrap this up. Green is now here. 18, make that 14. 13 to win. I don't, see, I just don't think our run rate is going to be good enough. You don't get anything on the net run rate. Because we're batting second, of course. Seven runs needed. Um, we've got the win. That's a good thing. We've got the win. We, 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 we've really turned this season around, which is a great positive, and I'm really, really happy about it. Well, that's in the air from Green. Couldn't see it done to the end, could you? A Dorcius comes in. Two runs needed. One run needed. And what... Okay, great performance. Absolutely stellar performance. Dorcius smacks it away. Um, top performance. We win by three runs. Tasmania. That's good. That's also quite good. Come on, there we go. We make it to the final. Oh, and it was close. It was close. So that slight increase that we kind of we went with for the net run rate was needed. Um can't really can I see the run rate? So we are the, the the blue, obviously. That's the difference really in the number of overs. So the run rate is like we were significantly ahead. They obviously scored a couple of runs at the end. Um but the fact that we did accelerate, like we were evens and then we accelerated a bit, evens again, accelerated, and then just kept accelerating. As they could only creep along at a decent pace, you know, four and over or whatever, we went bigger. 
and we make it to the final. Come on, that feels awesome. That's awesome. We've made it to a final. So this season, um, it will be on the. Oh, when will the final be? Let's check that out real quick. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So we've got this game. Huh? Twenty fifth. Okay, it's the twenty fifth. Sorry, I was getting confused by the Victoria and stuff like that. So we've got this game in the Sheffield Shield. Then we've got five days rest or thereabouts um, before the final against Victoria. So we're gonna play Victoria three times in a row. That's kind of crazy. Um, but there's only six teams or whatever, so not really much you can do about that. Um, but we made it. Oh my word, we made it. So last season we were pretty bad. Finished third in the in the sheffield shield which wasn't enough to get to the final and finish sixth last might i correct in the uh, in the one day cup this season sheffield shield currently fifth but very much in with a chance if we win these games we're in with a chance of making the final and season two we made the final come on come on there we go thank you for watching guys i'll catch you next time